What is up? I figured I'd do a little uh, quick video of my current Howard the Duck setup, my favorite movie of all time. I feel I probably have one of the best um, Howard the Duck collections of all time, exclusively movie stuff. I don't collect the comics or anything like that, but, and I mostly try to focus on the 86 movie. There's not a whole lot of merchandise from that movie so a lot of this is customs but I figured I'd just go through it all because I don't think there's any video even remotely like this on um, YouTube right there's like the uh, kind of picture book from the movie this still has a KB price tag and this is actually from my childhood that's something that uh, somehow has survived the stuff, the stuff in the back, that's the VHS tape, which is not from my childhood. I think I bought that maybe 10 years ago. That is an empty container of the Howard the Duck candy. There's no candy in there. It's just an empty box. But I thought it was a cool piece to add. That's the soundtrack, which may or may not be a bootleg. I heard there's a lot of bootlegs of that going around because the actual CD is rare. And I'm not sure if mine is real or not. There's a uh, just uh, an unopened pack of Howard the Duck cards along with Leah Thompson card. I think I passed over the um, complete set. That's a Howard the Duck uh, movie cards with all the cards intact. It is a full case of cards. So let's start out with the other stuff. This is my latest thing I got, which is really cool. It's um, like a Lucite egg with a real feather inside that was given to the cast and crew. I'd love to know how many of these exist. I have no idea, but it is definitely rare. And it, once I found out about it, it took me about five years to track one down. So they don't pop up very often as expected, but I don't know the exact number on it. This is a pin. I don't collect pins, but I collect how to duck pins uh, from Dead Planet. And it's by the statue from Freakland Studios. This is a custom piece, obviously. They may or may not still sell this. I'm not sure if you're interested. And this is probably like the coolest thing I own. Uh, Viola Whitrocker. I think I'm pronouncing that right. From Russia. This is a 1-6 scale. Fully clothed. Fully articulated. With guitar. Howard the Duck. This is from at the end of the movie where he's playing the Howard the Duck theme song as the manager of Cherry Bomb. Um, this piece is really cool. I did a whole video of it, but I'll show it off again. It come, came with this little magazine and it also came with this painted box in the background. Here is what the Howard the Duck candy looks like. Unopened. This is the Marvel Legends one that came with... Um, Silver Surfer, and I actually have a carded one as well. This is another pin, Namor pins, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Signed by Ed Gale, who played Howard. This plush is uh, a Disney Parks plush. I think it's, I don't know what the attire is based off of. I think it may be a video game or comic. And I'm probably I'm probably starting with ending with kind of the lame stuff here. I probably should have started with this. Not this. This is a um a Howard the Toy from like Beast Labs. I believe there is ten of these. So this is uh one of ten or whatever you want to call it. And just of some very common stuff. The Howard, the uh, the video game pop. This is from the Guardians of the Galaxy pop, and that's the Dorbs, which is also kind of looks like his Guardians of the Galaxy gear. Nothing special there. <coughs> and uh, this is actually kind of cool. This is the this is the, um, the record, the vinyl, the soundtrack, which my friend just found for me and just gave me. So, thank you, Tom. This is what the shelf looks like like that. Uh, the only other things I really have, there. Let's go over here. This is a laser disc 
signed by Ed Gale, which this was done at Chillin Theater at his last official signing ever. Uh, I do have a mini mate stash. I keep forgetting I have. You can see that. I might add that to the shelf, actually. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just leave it up there. And the last thing is... This is by VHS Girl. She's a popular uh, artist on Instagram. She makes VHS-type covers out of wood blocks. Uh, a lot of times she'll sell prints, but this is not a print. This is an original paint on wood block. And she kind of makes them a little funny. She has her own little uh, text to it. There's Troll. Nothing to do with Howard the Duck, but still cool. Oh, and... My promo hat. This, I think, was given out maybe at the theater or... I really don't know. But it's quite a ridiculous looking hat. I don't know who would actually wear this. and But it looks like nobody did wear it because it's in great condition. So that about does it. Hope you guys enjoyed the Howard stuff. If you had anything I'm missing, not comic related... I don't collect comics, but I know there's slippers out there. I know there's a crew jacket, just more really rare, obscure stuff. Hopefully a company actually gets the license to Howard the Duck. That'd be awesome. But so far, there is no official uh, movie figures, just like the Pops and stuff like that. And the Marvel Legends, which is not a movie figure. It's a comic figure. But anyway, thanks for watching.